Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to War Thunder with yours truly, Weeby. Now today, we're taking out the glorious B-29 Super Fortress Heavy Bomber that was introduced in patch 1.47 today. In a realistic battle, on a Ruhr, as, as a matter of fact. Um, B-29. Now, before you ask, no, I didn't pay for this in Gold Needles, I did actually legitimately grind this. Um... I started at about 12 o'clock in the afternoon, and I got it at 8 o'clock at night, uh, without a premium account. Uh, basically, the tactic I adopted was using the A-26 Invader as a major ground strike aircraft, and essentially what I did was I farmed ground units, and that's that's basically how I got uh, my B-29, so now we've got that out of the way. Um, the B-29 is a good and bad bomber. Um, I think people were over-exaggerating -ex how good it was going to be. Because, um, I mean, it is it is it's not that much different from a B-17. It's just bigger, slightly faster, better climb rate, and an absolutely huge, huge bomb load. Uh, standard, and I'll flash the uh, stat card up on screen for you. Um... This thing is about rating 7.0, which, yeah, it's okay. It faces jets and props, so I guess for the B-29, that's actually decent. Um, reward, 120%, and 84 research points bonus. Free repairs, 8. Max repair costs, 2,640. Um, max speed is 398 miles per hour stock, uh, on height of 9,100 meters. Max, max altitude is 12,000 meters. Turn time is 32 seconds. Rate of climb is 6.5 meters per second. Takeoff run is 18,000 meters. Or 1,000, sorry, 1,800 meters. 18,000 meters, bloody hell. Armament presets 4. Uh, it comes with 4 turrets. Uh, sorry, rather 5 uh, turrets. With 12.7 uh, millimeter M2 Browning 50 gals. Um, or rather, actually... No, it's five turrets with dual 50 cows, and then the rear gunnery seat or position with uh, two M2 Browning 50 cows in it, uh, with ammo amount of 5,050, which isn't too bloody bad, to be fair. Uh, reload time of 20 seconds, and the bombs it carries stock is 2,500 pound ANM 64 bombs. Now, again, this plane is just... You don't really buy one of these things to uh, for it to be good, so to speak. You more buy it because it's an actual B-29. You know, I've got the Enola Gay skin on this. I mean, that that's only taken a matter of days or hours to be able to put up on the live site. But um, I am thoroughly enjoying this, this aircraft. I really am. Um, on its own, it can actually look after itself, as shown here. I mean, I'm one of the last alive. Um, I am using this plane to its historical abilities. Uh, I'm using its climb rate and its bomb load to my advantage. Uh, I must admit, I do lose this battle uh, because at the end of the day, I'm on my own and the enemy team are going to be searching for me. Uh, I don't actually get shot down, though. I do survive the match, but, you know, the point remains that, uh, unfortunately, if you want to survive in a B-29, you have to go at high altitude. Uh, you can't afford to go low. Which is what I'm seeing a lot of B-29 pilots do at the moment. They're flying it like a B-17, which isn't ideal. Yeah, you want to be climbing off to the side, then back over the air, uh, uh, the air of operations. Because currently, with the way that this thing works, this thing takes the slightest of damage and it is gone. I mean, quite literally, I haven't died of a fire. I haven't died of me, you know losing a flap and leaning, this thing just evaporates. Um, it's not, it can't take damage very well. I don't know if that's historical or not. It might be. Um, I know some of the B-29s, I don't know if it's this variant had pressurized cabins, etc, etc. But it, this thing does go fall out the sky pretty quick. Hence why you need to play this thing stealthily. You don't want to be getting noticed by anyone. That's why I'm up at high altitude above the clouds. Um, I've I've really been fucking up these bombing runs though. I mean, like it because the American bombs are slightly different to the British ones. It's quite hard to calculate 
how many bombs I need. For example, on the British, I would have only needed six 500 pound bombs, and on the Americans, I need eight or nine because the blast and the it, it, it's very odd, very very odd. But uh, I I'm I really do suggest that you get this plane. Maybe not straight away. The reason why I got the B-29 straight away, personally, is one, I've always wanted the B-29 ever since I started playing. And two, the I should be doing some bomber formation videos with about eight B-29s coming up soon. That's why I wanted to grind mine out straight away. Uh, you can be expecting things like the Fuckwolf 200 Condor, and uh, I will work towards the mouse, but again, I haven't got a premium account, I haven't got the money to start... Uh, spending on golden eagles here, um, because I, I I'm pretty much um, just playing the game for enjoyment. Um, I know not having a premium account doesn't help, but you know for me to grind out eight hours straight just to get this video out for you guys today is it was hard work, and I definitely wanted to keep my heart set on the B29. Now this was actually my first ever game in it. Um, so, considering I didn't do too bad, I've only had about five games in the B-29. Um, this is the main one I survived. The most recent one I had is I went over on... What's it called? It's the Japanese map with the carriers um, and the main bit of land. It's it's not an island. It's Peleliu, I think. I think it's that. Either way, me and this last B-29 were the last alive, and uh, we bombed out two of the three carriers, got back to base, but then got jumped by Suicide J7W shouting Allah Akbar at us. So uh, they didn't actually shoot us down, they just rammed us, because you know reasons. Um, but apart from that, this thing's had a... This, is, this thing's been pretty good fun to play. Uh, with the current bomb load it has, the 2500 pound bombs, it can do a hell of a lot of damage. What I would suggest though, is that you leave these bombing points, unless you are the last alive to people that have a bigger bomb load, I would, because it does get into Canberra games, I would suggest asking the Canberras to get these and then use your B-29 to base bomb uh, the airfield, because at the moment the 20 500 pound payload isn't really enough. The 40 500 pound payload, I mean singular of course, um, if there's a group of you then it will be more than enough. But singular, this thing isn't very, it is very good. I mean you see I can take out two bases pretty easy and have some spares left over for uh, for the enemy airfield. But it's it's kind of, you need to make sure those bombs count. Um, if you are going to do it in a group, make sure you all spawn in at the same time, stick together, and climb off to the side, because that's what's going to make you survive in this thing, nothing else. Uh, but anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on the B-29. If you did, make sure you click that like button below, subscribe if you're new around here for more War Thunder content. Take care guys, I'll let you watch the, next, the rest of the video, and I'll see you next time.